Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. Today we are going to show you something on um, creating layers. Um, we are still on AutoCAD and we want to show you how to create layers. You know, um, I won't actually give any formal definition, but um, layer is actually a tool on AutoCAD that helps you to put your job in order. Like, um, would I say, when you have um, so many information on a particular drawing and you don't want all of them to be displayed at once or you don't you are not working on all of them at once you can actually create layer for each of those elements or each of those um, features and then you put it on and put it off at will so you don't see all of them on your screen at once are we together that doesn't mean that that particular entity or that particular feature is not there on the drawing but you just choose not to see it because you don't want it to look clumsy you know you want your workspace to be light and then maybe aesthetically pleasing and as it is maybe don't mind Misha. so that's what we want to show you today on layer so i believe you will find it quite interesting now we have um virtually or let's say we can see two identities here yeah? Let me call one the boundary and then the other the spot height. So what we want to do now is that we want to show you now conventionally these two, um, let's call it these two identities are actually on the same layer. So what we want to do now is that we were by default, yeah, by default they are on the same layer. So what we want to do now is that we want to separate them, which you can actually apply to as many entities as possible. For instance, maybe on this same drawing, we still have buildings, we still have roads, we still have electric poles, or as the case may be. So you do what? What we want to do now, you do it for others, and then you just have the same result. So now the first thing now is that we come to this what? We come to this layer property manager, which is this layer properties manager. Then we do what? We see this um, pop-up window, which has um, these three important icons um, we are going to work with. The first one is to create a new layer. The second is to delete a layer. Then the third is to what? To set current. Now you can see that there's a particular layer that is current. This layer that is current is actually the layer that has those entities we have on the screen there, which is the spot height and the boundary. Are we together? Good. So we want to create a layer for the boundary. So you do what? You come to create layer or maybe new layer, as the case may be. Then you edit it. So we are going to edit this to what? To boundary. As I said earlier, we are going to call it what? We are going to call it boundary. So we have um, B O U M Z R O N D A R Y, right? Good. That's for the boundary. So all the entities that has to do with boundary will be, what? Will be stored on that particular layer. Now the next thing is what? We have to set it as current. We have to set it as current. The reason why I want to set it as current is that so that by the time we get back to the workspace, we can decide to save it there. Or we any subsequent drawings we want to have will be saved in there. Or we can actually move an already displayed drawing into this particular layer. So in this case, we want to move an already displayed drawing into this layer. So the next thing is what we set current, which is this. So it is now current. So we just say what apply and okay. Are we together? Good. So we say okay. So remember what we said earlier was that we want to put this boundary inside that boundary layer. So we just click on the boundary to make it active. You now see that it's actually on this default layer, which is what? Zero. So the next thing we want to do now is that we want to put it on this, um, what do you call it? On this boundary layer that we've created. So we come use that um, drop down. Then we do what? We click on this boundary. We click on this boundary. So this particular let's say polyline or maybe in this case let's call it an entity or maybe object that was highlighted or that was clicked has been stored on that word, on that boundary layer remember that at first it was actually on that what default layer which is zero zero but now it's no longer on that default layer zero zero so how do we confirm that it's actually stored on this boundary layer now we have different icons here this is to turn layer on and off this is to freeze and rest of that. Now, what we want to do is that we want to turn this layer off to see if this particular entity we saved on it will actually go off the screen or it will still be displayed on the screen. Are we together? 
good so we do what we turn off you click on it and it what it turns off so by the time you now click on the screen which is what we do, the current layer is what is turned off so you won't see anything that you've actually stored on that particular layer displayed on your screen are we together good so now the next thing is that if you actually want to see the maybe you are working on buildings now you don't want to see the boundary lines or you want to work on the spot types you don't want to see the boundary line you actually do that now the next thing you want to see is that remember that this um, spot type and the boundary were actually stored on the same what on the same layer which is this so now let's turn this one on again and then let's turn this one what off so you now see that by the time we come to the workspace we find out that we can't what we can't find the what we can't find the spot we can't find the spot type we can only find what we can only find the boundary so the same thing will happen if we turn the both of them off to be as though we don't have any drawing workspace. are we together so that's how you create layer that's how you turn it off that's how you turn it on as the case may be whatever like now we're having just two layers here you can have as many as five ten fifteen depending on the entities you are working with and depending on what you want to achieve on your dream are we together so you come to this um layer property manager you do what you create new or how do they even put here um you want new layer create new layer you want to set it active you come to your workspace you select whatever object you want to put on that um on that um layer and then you continue like that are we together now um that's the that's the most you have to take on this video. I know you have understood what we've said. However, if you still have any question, maybe contribution or something you want to talk to us about, you can actually drop it on the comment section. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Yeah, so thanks for coming to class. I hope we've provided a solution to this particular survey problem. And then, as I said earlier, layers help you to put your job in order it helps to make the workspace um nice and beautiful or less clumsy yeah it helps to so many grammar is coming to mind but let's forget about grammar now yeah it just helps to make the workspace look simple so i don't have so many information at once on the screen so that's what layer does for you so you can create as many layers for as many objects as you have are we together Good. yeah so thanks for coming to class i'll see you again on the next video please if you're just coming on to the channel for the first time you have to support us by subscribing to our channel and then ensure you share with your friends you like the video and you always check on us for new content and our awesome and exceptional old and evergreen contents yeah they are older than black green yeah so until i see you again on the next video make sure you are safe and you keep staying safe have a nice time bye